one big thing. The specific details of this season for the Washington Capitals didn't really matter heading into their second round series with Pittsburgh, did they? Sure, they won the President's Trophy this year, best team in the NHL for the balance of the grueling October to April marathon, but they won it last year too, met Pittsburgh in the second round of those playoffs as well, lost. The weight of the Washington Capitals past is a lot to drag around, so many playoff disappointments. The list of things they've never done as a franchise is mostly whittled down to the most glaring omission, they've never won a Stanley Cup. While we're doing some accounting, they had only one more playoff series win over Pittsburgh than they had Stanley Cups. They beat him in 94 in seven games. On the other side of the ledger, eight different times Pittsburgh had ended Washington's seasons. The circumstances surrounding who was favored, how long it went, all different, but the end was the same for the Capitals. Handshakes followed by tea times. And half of those, interestingly enough, Pittsburgh went on to win the Stanley Cup. So given that history, combined with a history that says teams down 3-1 in a series lose more than 90% of the time, I don't know how long the list was of people who believed the Capitals could make a comeback. I know I wasn't on it. But a three-goal third period, uh, a three-goal third rather, erased a one-goal deficit in game five. Then a five-goal explosion in Pittsburgh compelled the Caps to play this game seven with the stakes understood. A win would not erase their past, but it would certainly give them a shot at a future that could. Instead, the excitement and optimism of the day drowned out by yet another hard dose of reality delivered from the needle of the Pittsburgh Penguins. It didn't matter that they outshot Pittsburgh in every single game. It's yet another verse of the same never-ending song that has Capitals fans wondering if it will ever have a different ending. The only thing that feels like it's ending is this team as it's constructed. There are decisions to be made in free agency, some of which are out of the Capitals' hands. This year was supposed to be different. It isn't. The cap season has been put to bed early, and it's the Penguins who have tucked them in <sighs> again.